Can you solve cosine of x equals 2? Your calculus teacher said you can't, but actually you can. But wait, Payam, isn't cosine between minus 1 and 1? Ness. It is true if x is real, but false if x is complex. And in fact, let's now dive into the complex world. Because cosine of x is just a hidden version of e to the ix plus e to the minus ix over 2. Think almost like caution singe, quite interestingly. And you set this equal to 2, and then let's cross multiply to get e to the ix plus e to the minus ix equals 4. And it turns out this will become an equation that you will be able to solve. Because how about let's multiply both sides by e to the ix to get rid of this negative sign. So e to the ix and then e to the ix. Then what this becomes is e to the ix squared plus 1 equals 4 e to the ix. And then let's put this 4e to the ix on the left hand side to then get e to the ix squared minus 4e to the ix plus 1 equals 0. And as complicated as this looks, it's actually a quadratic equation. So let's solve this because if you let y be e to the ix, then what this becomes is just y squared minus 4y plus 1 equals 0. However, you can now either use a quadratic formula or sim more easily just complete the square because this is y minus 2 squared minus 4 plus 1 equals 0. So y minus 2 squared equals 3. So essentially y is 2 plus or minus square root of 3. So what did we obtain? We ultimately obtained that e to the ix equals 2 plus or minus square root of 3. And the idea is simply, now write this in the form e to the i something. So notice, this just becomes e of ln of 2 plus or minus square root of 3. And you can always add multiples of myself in the complex world. So plus 2 pi m i, where m is any integer. So what we get is e to the i x equals e of this shebang. And now we can just simply equate the exponentials to then get that i x equals ln of 2 plus or minus square root of 3 plus 2 pi m i. And last but not least, simply divide by i to get x equals this over i and this over i. But remember, 1 over i, if you multiply top and bottom by i, then you get i over i squared, which is minus 1. So in the end, minus i. So summa summarum, so after everything, we get that x is minus ln of 2 plus or minus square root of 3i plus, again, 2 pi n. And what's the result? For those values of x, we do have cosine of x equals 2. And again, which is very interesting, because in the real realm, cosine is between minus 1 and 1. However, here we solve cosine of x equals 2, but really there's nothing special about 2. You could have done it for any number. So in fact, in the complex world, cosine can kind of go up to infinity. So it might look something like that. Whoosh! So that's why sometimes it's called an imaginary world. It happens in our imagination. But still very useful complex numbers used, for example, in electrical engineering for signals. But that's all I know. That's the limit of my knowledge. No pun intended. 
All right, if you like this and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.